Hi, I'm Vikram Verma, and this tutorial will show you how to use Power BI to generate reports from SQL Server. We will be using SQL Server Management Studio for the database. Now, the database we will be using is called AdventureWorks, which is a fictitious business with employees, vendors, customer information. So you can download it online. And uh, this is one of the tables you can see. Now, before we begin, I want to go over relational databases. So this diagram shows the foreign key relationships between four different tables. So in Power BI, when we want to request information from multiple tables and link them, it's going to be using these relationships. Now let's open Power BI. First, we need to get the data from SQL Server into Power BI. So click Get Data and choose SQL Server. Now you have to type in the name of your SQL Server. So as you can see, it's localhost slash SQL Express. So I'll type that in. And let's import it. Now you can see my databases show up right here. So there's four tables I'm interested in, as you can see here, DIM product, which means dimension product, internet sales, date, and call center. So DIM product, DIM date, fact internet sales, and fact call center. And then let's load it. So it's querying that and loading it into Power BI. Now what's cool is it'll detect the foreign and primary key relationships and establish it in Power BI. And now you can see those tables show up here. Now let's make some reports from this information. So see this one, internet sales, that records all the sales they've had over the internet. So I wanna create a line graph, so I'll select line graph, that shows sales over uh, a date period. So I'm going to select ship date and sales amount. As you can see, it generates a graph by querying these tables. Now I want a bar graph and I wanna see which complaints come at what hour. So we're going to look at the call center table for that. And um, we want to see the shifts, which um, the morning shift, midnight shift, afternoon shift, and then issues raised. So you can see here, the most amount of issues is at midnight. Now, um, I want to create one more report, and this is from product. Now, product has descriptions of all the products in English, French, German, Arabic, Chinese. So I want a table that shows these translations together. So I'm going to create a table, and then I'm going to check English description, French description, and Arabic description. Now let me expand this here. It shows you all these descriptions. Thank you, I'm Vikram Verma.